What is going on guys? It's your boy Flash. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be discussing whether or not Ezra Miller is fit enough to play the Flash. My favorite superhero. Because if he messes up, I will freaking kill you. But, you know, I wouldn't go that far, but I will despise you for the rest of my life. I mean, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know what? I'm gonna call my my idol, my inspiration, up to the building, and let's see what he thinks. Hey, yo, Kanye, you you wanna come over and um see this new actor I, I'm talking about in my video? Yeah, I'm right here. All right, all right, all right, all right. His name is Ezra Miller. He's gonna be playing the Flash, you know, favorite superhero. Yeah, I know. All right, all right, all right. I want you to tell me if you think he can play it. All right, here's a picture of him. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Kanye, you're killing me. <laughs> Here's another picture, alright, alright. Look at the That's it. Here's another picture, alright, alright. Alright, right. <laughs> right, last picture, last picture, last picture, Kanye, alright? <laughs> alright, alright, alright. All right. Thanks, Kanye, but. You, you can leave now. You know, I still love you, man. Alright. <clears throat> anyway, anyways. I compiled a list of things that I think he would need to perfect and things I want to see in the movie, alright? So, I guess you can call this, can Ezra Miller pull it off, slash, what I want in the Flash movie. Slash, Justice League movie. Because he is playing also the Flash in both movies, alright? Okay. First things first. I'm the realist. Alright, alright. Seriously, um, what I think you'll have to do is work on the voice. Because, as you guys know, um, Barry Allen is a bit of a nerd, or a geek, or however you guys call it nowadays. So, um, and, and um, Barry Allen should not have a voice as deep as Batman, you know? The voice, like, <laughs> he should not have a voice like that. He should probably have, like, a squeaky, high-pitched voice, but not too high. But, you know, like, right there. Second thing I'm gonna need is he is gonna have to look like I guess a, a geek, a nerd, I guess, like pull off the look. You guys know because um in the regular um show The Flash, which I am highly skeptical, they did not get Grant Grant Gustin to act on this um, movie because he's already doing The Flash. So why not just get him and put more money into his bank account? Do the Flash in the movie? I don't know why. I mean, I, Grant Gustin is a great actor. He has the experience already with being the Flash, so I thought he would have been the better option than Ezra Miller. But as long as he can pull it off. And what I mean by the look is, as you guys look at Grant Gustin, he kind of looks like a nerd, right? And in, in the show, I mean, just, just look at the picture of him, right? I mean, he he, he pulls off the look pretty dang good, and the voice he 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 does the voice all right. Third thing is he's gonna have he's gonna have to need brain for Barry Allen because you guys know Barry Allen is one smart mother hugger. He is he works as a forensic in the show and in comics he just works with police. It, um, I, I don't know, but he's gonna have to have the brain of him. So he's gonna have to be really smart and be able to think of like a million ways to kill you in like a second, which he already does in the comics and you know stuff like that. And the fourth thing I'm gonna need is the wit, because if you guys know, Barry Allen is a bit witty. There were times, there will, there will be times where he does not take a fight seriously, and he'll just joke around like you know, um, Peter Parker does in his shows or movies or whatever. Okay, let's say um, hypothetically speaking, um, Green Lantern, aka Hal Jordan, because you know, he's Flash's best friend, basically. So let's say how Jordan gives hits up Barry's um, cell phone number, and he's like, "Hey yo, you you, you want to go to um, I don't know Metropolis and meet up there?" Or I don't care. Um, Barry would be like, "Yeah, sure, and I, I, I'll catch you in a flash." Get it? Because he's using his name to um say how fast he'll be there because you know Flash is like 
that. So um yeah. It'll be a bit witty at times. And Lastly, what I'm gonna need him to do is be serious at times. Because not every fight is a joke to baby. There will be fights. There will be fights when he does take it very seriously. Like let's say if freaking Dark Side come from a freaking another planet and tries to invade freaking Earth or whatever. He will not take that as a joke. He, he will not be witty. He will fight to his last breath, guys, okay? Those are the things I want to see as a movie be able to pull off in the movie. And now I'm going to be talking about stuff I want to see in the movie, okay? So what I'm going to see is the freaking speed. Because this mother hugger goes faster than the speed of light. And in the show, they have him freaking going Mach 1. And I'm like, how in the world does he do that? I mean, like, seriously? And I'm not even joking, right? They will literally have him going, probably not Mach 1, but they'll like limit him to like Mach 5, when he should be going like Mach a million, or I, I don't know, faster than the speed of light, you know, faster than instantaneous teleportation, because there was this one comic where Barry went, ran faster than that, so, you know, freaking monster. Um, second thing I want to see is a good villain, not of, um, a bad villain, but a good one, like, um, one that can last long in a movie, I guess. Not someone like, I guess Captain Cold, but I mean, I don't know, they would have to put in a pretty cool villain that I want to see, because no matter what, I am going to see that movie, and I'm going to see Justice League, because Flash is in it, and Flash is a mother-hugging cool guy, I guess. What do I mean, I guess? Third thing I want, I want to see is good acting for everyone, not just Ezra Miller, but everyone in the movie that's gonna be in it. Cause I don't want any um, trash acting, especially not from Ezra Miller, cause he's gonna be playing Flash. I mean, I never seen him act, but I know he's acting in a couple movies. Um, says his Wikipedia page. I mean, yeah, I looked him up, and it says here he's been he acted in. I'm just gonna name two. One being Trainwreck, and the other one being We Need to Talk to About Kevin. Which I never saw any of his movies, or any of his shows. So I don't know if he's a good actor or not. But you guys can tell me in the comments, but yeah. I want to see good acting from everyone, because... You know, good acting is good acting. You know, actually like Robert Downey Jr. I mean, I, I can do that. No, I can't. Last thing I want to see... Is superheroes in the movie, like, more than Flash, like, I want to see, like, everyone have a cameo, you know, everyone from, um, Ben Affleck, which is playing Batman, or Jason Momoba, I, f I forgot to say his last name, I know his first name was Jason, like, Jason Momoa, I believe, and I forgot the actor that plays Superman, but he could be, it. and the actress that plays Wonder Woman, I forgot, forget their name, I want them to have, um, a cameo in the movie, more, I, I would rather see Batman in all of them, you know, just a little cameo, because, you know, um, Flash had a cameo in his movie, so, you know, he has to have a Flash. I mean, but looking at the Justice League trailer, which brings me back to good acting, it looks like he had good acting, and one of the lines I like that he said is, um, yeah, when Batman said he, wa he, he, he wants to assemble a team of superheroes, right? I said, I, um, the part when he said that he has no friend, actually brings me back to um, the comics and the show that um, it's true he doesn't really have friends I mean he, he always sticks to studying and running away from bullies but um, hearing that line made me shiver a little bit you guys know what I mean stop right there I'm in you are just like that yeah I, I need friends and yeah which brings me back to the question once more can Ezra Miller play the Flash and I don't know I'm gonna be optimistic and say yes because you guys remember when everyone was bashing Tom Holland because uh, Marvel Studios got a young kid to play Spider-Man because they said um, they could have signed Tobey Maguire or um, Andrew Garfield again they all doubted Tom Holland um, because he's so young and I don't know he's like 19 I think but I mean I, I doubted it myself I'm gonna be honest but he actually, and when he was in Captain America Civil War, he actually pulled off the Spider-Man 
pretty dang sickly because everyone says um Tobey Maguire can pull off Peter Parker but not Spider-Man and that Andrew Garfield could pull off Spider-Man but not Peter Parker and it's like both of those two had a baby and they had Tom Holland and then Tom Holland can pull off both of them but yeah so I'm gonna say yes I think Ezra Miller can pull off the Flash and I'm gonna be optimistic here okay guys because you guys know Flash is my man of all time I will always love Flash I wish it was real if I ever met him in real life I'll give him a peck on the cheek <laughs> but anyways that's the end of the video guys if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys slap that like button for your boy subscribe if you're new if you do hit the dislike button you guys can tell me why in the comments so I can try to improve my next video if you guys also have other things you want to see in the movie or if you think that Ezra Miller can do in the movie that will um that you got you guys could also leave a comment if you guys can also leave a comment about what you want to see in the movie or what you think Ezra Miller can work on to make Barry Allen slash Flash a good movie, okay guys? So anyways, love you guys and peace out.